This video is showing you exactly how to do laundry and how to make your clothes smell insanely good. So I've been doing my laundry for years now, but I have some friends and <clears throat> my boyfriend who still has their mom do their laundry and they just don't know how to do it. So I figured in this video it would be really helpful for anyone moving into the dorm rooms or who are moving into their first apartment or just it's just time to learn how to do laundry that I would show you exactly how I do my laundry and the products that I use to make my clothes smell really, really good. I'm Sophia Lee. I'm a recent college graduate who is obsessed with turning her first apartment into a home. I'm taking you along with me and showing you my best decorating ideas, organization tips, and cleaning hacks so that you can make your apartment look Pinterest perfect while sticking to a budget. I'm here to help you turn your apartment into a place you will love. First things first is to read labels because I do not want to be responsible for ruining your clothing. So if you have like a shirt, look at the label, it'll either be at the top of the tag or it'll be on a tag or in like the middle of your shirt and it usually tells you exactly how to like what you need to do. So this one says machine wash cold with light colors. Um, and once you get the hang of doing laundry, like you won't need to look at those, but whenever I'm not sure how to wash something, that usually tells me exactly how to do it. First thing that you need to know is how to sort your laundry and sorting your laundry into appropriate piles is definitely one of the most important parts of doing your laundry because you do not want the colors to bleed on top of each other and for it to ruin all of your clothes. So how I separate my clothes in like the pretty standard way that everyone does it is they separate it into darks, lights, whites and then sheets and towels and my sheets and towels are all white so you kind of have to be careful of that as well and then I also know that a lot of people will separate their workout clothes out and do that in a separate load I just find that I'm fine with doing my workout clothes in normal load because it just would be a lot of loads for me to do for one person but definitely do that if you would prefer so I'm going to take you through and show you what the different things would be to give you kind of idea. So this would be dark obviously because it's dark. This I would put in dark and I mean there's not like an exact, like it's, you can be a little risky, like I'm slightly risky on something so that's dark, um, but I have a product actually that's going to show you it, it like it saves your clothes from the colors bleeding on top of each other. It's like amazing. So then these would all go in jeans. I usually um, will either do a separate load for jeans because like you're not supposed to really wash your jeans that often. So I'll save my jeans sometimes for just once a month. Then I just do a load of all of them, or I just throw them in the dark, which is what I do. 90% of the time if we're being honest. So dark, you can tell that I have a lot of darks and I have a lot of whites and I usually do not have much color just because my wardrobe is in color. So this would be in a light, white, and then I'm gonna speed this up so you don't have to keep watching but that's a light color even though it has black on it since it's primarily light pink. Oh, also make sure everything's turned the right way and I try to make sure that all of my jeans are zippered up together so that it will just like dry easier once you transfer to the dryer or you let it air dry I just find that um, when it's not like when the jeans aren't put together that they just get a little I don't know more wrinkled and kind of messy looking Step number two is to make sure that you get stains out of your clothes. So what I like to do is I buy one of these just stain removers and this is my favorite brand. It is the OxyClean Laundry Stain Remover. I buy it at Target. Actually, every single thing that I show you, I'm pretty sure that I bought on Target or 
Costco. Um, but this thing is amazing and what you do is you just spray it on your clothes and I will let it sit for like five minutes and then um, I'll just throw it into the wash like normal and it gets out literally every stain. Tanning, this thing can get your tanny stains out. My, my white sheets, because I like sleep overnight in tanner, gets tanner all over them. I'll just spray this on and my sheets look brand new. So I highly recommend this product. So now that the stains have been dealt with, you are gonna take one of those loads and add it to the washing machine with the correct water temperature. So the, having the right water temperature is really important because it can make sure that the different colors don't leak on each other even though we did separate them out. You have to like still be careful with that. So the different water temperatures that I use for darks, I use cold water. For lights, I still use cold water or you can use cool. And then for whites, I will use hot water. So for sheets and towels, that's more depending on like what type of color they are. Since mine are white, I will use hot water for that because you use hot for white sheets. So now is the best part, and that is the different products that I use to make my clothes smell really good, which I just think is so important. Like when someone smells good, they are instantly more attractive. So um, I'm just doing the, my white load for this demonstration so add it in to your washing machine and then these are the products that I personally use are these the I don't like these are the I don't these are just the products that I personally like so I'm scared that the cleaning police is gonna come after me for this whole video I'm just a 22 year old who's trying to help other young people learn how to do their laundry so I mean take everything with a grain of salt, but this is what's always worked for me, and these are the products that really do make my clothes smell so good. So, first thing that you're gonna need is detergent. I personally use the pods now, but in the dorms, I would not recommend using the pods, just because in my experience, they're so easy, but then the washing machines like wouldn't, I don't know if they're not powerful enough, if they didn't get hot enough, like I'm not exactly sure what happened, but these pods wouldn't fully melt down and they'd get stuck to my clothing and ruin the clothes. So I would use liquid detergent for that, but in my apartment now, I just use pods. And then you do a certain number of pods depending on how like big your load is. So if you have a really large load, like my darts, because I usually have the most darts, then I'll do two to three pods. But if I just have a smaller load, I'll just do one to two pods. So for this one, I could probably, I'll probably do two pods. I usually go on the excessive side with these pods. I'm sure you could easily just do one of those pods. So that's the actual um, detergent. And then to make my clothes smell really good, oh my God, this is the best thing in the entire world. So this is, technically fabric softener, but it tastes, or it doesn't taste, <laughs> it smells heavenly. So this is the, I just get this at Target, and um, it's in the lavender and vanilla bean smell. Oh my god, it will smell my entire apartment. It smells so good. People compliment me all the time on how good my clothes smell. It's like, it is legitimately heaven on earth. The first night after I do my sheets is just, it smells so, so good. All right, so here is where, this is a really cool product and I didn't discover this until after college, but I kind of wish that I would have because I feel like a lot of college students don't necessarily separate their clothes as well as they should and even right now I'm paranoid about separating my clothes. So these Shout Color Catchers are, crazy good and I just got this at Target as well and what you do well these just like will trap any colors that leak off of your clothes so if you were to do a white load with a red sock in it which just don't do that but if you were to do that these sheets would catch all the red so it wouldn't ruin your clothes so usually I will put like for this load I'll just need one since it Honestly, these are all whites, I'm pretty certain they're all whites, but for like my darks and my lights, just to make sure that I don't ruin my clothes, I'll put one or two of these in, and it's crazy to see like after they 
are used how like they turn a gray and dark so you can see the colors that come off on them and these are just awesome to use just to be extra careful all right so since i have everything in here now what i'm going to do is i'm going to set my wash temperature to hot because they're white um, and then for my water level and rinse option i have the auto sensing like I can choose auto sensing so that's just what I put for those and then for the actual setting so since this is white I will use white but then for my other colors I just put it on normal um, the whites will just give it like a deeper soak I believe I'm not even exactly sure how that works so that I just do white and then I will just hold that down and then my washing machine will start in like three two one now that the washing machine has run, it's time to dry the clothes. And the first thing that you want to do is go to your dryer and clean out the lint tray. So like mine doesn't have a lot of lint right now, but it is so important to do this because you do not want to start a fire. So then you can just simply throw this away and then stick it back in there. And then you are ready to start getting your clothes and putting them in the dryer. So. You want to be careful with what you put in the dryer because you don't want things to shrink. You don't want things to get ruined. So what I do not put in the dryer is I do not put my workout clothes, my bras, and um, I'm extremely careful with sweaters. So we will go through this. Um, I especially don't put any... So like this is a workout clothes, so I will hang dry that. This is fine, that's all. Well, this is workout, so I'll hang this. And then I have a sweater right here. This I will be hang drying. One, because it has holes, a lot of holes, so I wanna be careful with drying this in the dryer, um, cause I just don't wanna get it ruined. And then also I'm gonna hang dry it because I do not want it to shrink in the dryer which sweaters have like sweaters do do that so I know like people that will literally hang dry every single thing because they it can just keep your clothes nicer but I find that like sometimes when I hang dry things they get crunchy almost which I have no idea why that happens if anyone knows why that happens let me know but then you can throw that in there and then I like to, this isn't necess, isn't exactly like necessary, but I just find that these fabric softeners make your clothes smell extra good. Um, so I already put fabric softener from this stuff in the washing machine, but then this just like adds an extra good scent to it, which I'm like crazy about my scents. Like I love to smell good. I get self-conscious if I feel like I don't smell good. So then I just add two of those in there. You can add one, two, whatever. Um, and then for me and my clothes, I put them on the longest dry and then I put them on the high temperature. So that's also like, I mean, that's what I always do it on. So I feel like that's fine, but just be careful on that high temperature that you do take the sweaters. You know, you've heard me talk about this for the last five minutes. So, um, and then you simply press start. Okay, so then once that dries, you want to get them hung up as soon as possible because the longer that they sit in the dryer, the more wrinkled that they get where if, if you take them out right away when they're still hot, you can just hang them up, get them put away right away, and then they will not have as many wrinkles on it. Sometimes I'm better at that than others, but that is always the goal. So then you just press start, and that is how you do your laundry. So that is exactly how I do my laundry, but how often do you actually have to do that? So I try to, I just will do my laundry once my laundry basket gets full, which is usually once a week and it just happens to be on a Sunday. And that's when I also do my sheets, which ever since moving into my apartment, I've tried to be way better about washing my sheets. I used to be honestly horrible at it. And it just feels so much better every single Sunday to climb into bed and have clean sheets. It, I don't know why it feels so much better, but it honestly does. And then there are other things that I wash every single time I wear them and things that I don't. So obviously I wash workout clothes and underwear every single time I wear them. 
Honestly, sometimes the workout clothes, I can get away with wearing it like twice, depending on how often, what type of workout I'm doing. Um, but then jeans, kind of like I said earlier in this video, those are something that you do not want to wash every single time you wear them. And it's not necessary to wash them every single time. Plus, if you have rips, the rips get like gnarly after a while if you're washing them all of the time. This video showed you exactly how to do your laundry. Now, obviously, everyone can do their laundry in a different way. This is just what works for me and how I can keep my clothes from not getting ruined. So if you have any laundry questions or any comments on this video, please comment them below. I would love to answer them. For more apartment decorating, cleaning, and organization tips, make sure to subscribe to my channel.